Hey what's up guys, so you have your drive C almost full and even if you try deleting some unused files, you still end up having a full C drive. We can easily solve this problem if you have another partition that has a large amount of space, we are going to cut down that space and add it to that C drive. So this is my drive, it's almost full, let me show you how I did it. Okay, first you go to your search bar and type disk management or just disk and create and format hard disk control panel will show up just click on that and another window will appear here you will see your drive partition onto c and d so let's compare that i have that c and i have that d the same of what i have there so here we go we are going to right click and you will see the option shrink volume this window will appear where you have the option to set the space. Now I'm just going to do a quick calculation here how much I'm going to shrink the drive. So yeah, around 100 gigabytes. So that's what I'm going to put in there, 100 gigabytes. Now this is an MB, so this would be like 100,000 what I'm going to place here. 100,000 MB is equal, equivalent to 100 gigabytes. So I'll just go ahead, make sure that we have the right number of zeros and then click on shrink if you are sure of what you're doing. So it's going to create another partition that says unallocated with a colored black. Now the thing here is um, the unallocated space should be just right next to C. So uh, that's not the case so that we can add it to drive C but you can see here it's on the other end. So what I'm going to do is create a volume here, new sim right click and then new simple volume. Okay, and then next, of course, then I'll just delete the name. I don't want that new volume name and then go ahead and finish. So it's going to format that will be a few seconds. Then it's going to show up the drive E. Okay, so there you go. We have another partition created. So what I'm going to do is transfer all my files from this D drive, kind of back it up to that other partition so that I can use that space next to C drive. Okay. So I'll just copy that one. Depends how large your files you're going to back up. So that's that's the drawback here. You need to wait for some time. All right, we're almost there. There you go. So just making sure that we have that uh, uh, files back up there. Okay, so E drive is good. Now let's go back to that um, D drive on our disk management. Then right click. I'm going to delete the volume. So you can see it here, delete volume. Yes, we're sure because we backed it up. Then it's going to turn black and it says unallocated space. Now, if that's the case right now, this unallocated space is right before the C drive. We can right click on C drive and go for the option extend volume. So I'm just going to select that one and then just go for next. I'm going to use the whole amount, okay? I'll just go ahead and press next. Then, of course, this is a quick summary and then finish. And then voila, there you go. The drive C expanded to 300 plus gigabytes. So let's go ahead to that graphical information here. It, I'm going to refresh this one. Boom. So there you go. It extended. All right. So I hope you have learned something from this video, guys. And then um, if you have not yet subscribed to my YouTube channel, don't forget to subscribe and hope to see you in my next video. Bye-bye.